guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, so by request today, we're gonna go over Drive uh, by Goose. Uh, this one's pretty fun. Nice little fun riff to, uh, to play, play along with here. Uh, so we're gonna go over that. Uh, we'll go over the chords for the uh, intro chords, the riff, the uh, verse, uh, and the chorus as well. Uh, if it is your first time here, please consider subscribing, hit the bell for notifications. I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, if it's not your first time here, thank you again very much for coming back. Also, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So like I said, we've got a fair amount to uh, to dig into here. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so drive, we're going to start out with these uh, chords here. So we are playing, um, you can see this is almost, it's like a, it's a B, but this is a, a B be at 11 um, which actually gives it a really nice feel uh, so just like you would bar bar your b chord here barring that seventh fret you do the same thing except for instead of barring it you just have your index finger on that seventh fret here in that low e so on that b so that's your b at 11 and we'll use that same shape move it up to an a at nine so now we're just got that index finger here on that fifth fret Back to that B. Back to that A. A at nine. Then you have a uh, F sharp seven at eleven. <laughs> uh, so again, same same exact shape. So I know it sounds very intense, but it's it's really not. So same exact shape. Now I just got that index finger here on that second fret, and then you go to an E. this riff uh, I think that there's a lot going on in there uh, so um, Pete and Rick are both playing something at the exact same time um, to, to kind of give it you know a pretty pretty cool little feel um, so this is loosely based off of what Rick is playing um, um, and I think I you know I've, I've simplified it a little bit I'm sure there's some some more little maybe bends or or, um, or slides in there that he's doing as well. Uh, this sounds, I think this sounds very good. It's, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, so again, we're on this B here. So um, we're gonna hit that uh, seventh fret of the low E. And then, so what I'm doing, I'm hitting that. Um, but my index finger is barring uh, the seventh fret, and then I've got my pinky finger on the, the tenth fret uh, of the B and the E. So, so I'm hitting that root note, and I'm uh, going down up on um, on the uh, the B and the E here. So I go down up, then I'll pull off. back to that nine so okay and I'm going again uh, pretty much just barring Brian that's having fret again and I'm doing a hammer um, so I'm hitting the seventh fret by itself, and then I'm hitting it a second time, and then hammering uh, my ring finger to the ninth fret of that D. Uh, but no, so what I'm doing when I, after I do that, so. So I like to do 
do um, after I after hammering onto that ninth fret there, do some uh, little muted muted hits there, and then I'm gonna do a hammer on to the uh, ninth of the G. intro uh, and, and for the verses as well um, and again you know you can the, I, I highly recommend listening to the song and kind of playing along uh, with it once you have like that bass part of it down and seeing if there's some other things that you're hearing that you can kind of figure out you know to, to throw in there but uh, that's the way that I like that's the way that I've been playing it it's, uh, it's a lot of fun sounds good all right so that's that part um, so then we have the chorus Again, we're starting off with our B here. And I think for the chorus, I don't think you want to play it all the way down, all, all the strings. I think you're just playing it more of like a, almost more like a power chord. Um, so kind of stopping at the, uh, at the G. Oh, sorry about that. And then we're going to, um, I guess it's a D, D5. So that's uh, index finger here on, <clears throat> uh, sorry, index finger on the fifth fret here of that A, uh, ring, so on the seventh of the D, and pinky on the seventh of the G. And you're gonna take that shape down to the um, seventh fret here. And then you'll slide it down to the ninth fret as well. Time to go from that D5 to an A5. So again, same shape. Now we're just moving over. So now your index finger is uh, on that root note, fifth fret of the E. Plummy. course there's a quick break we're going back to that B at 11 So there's a, before we get to, there is a walk down piece, which we'll, we'll go through that, uh, that piece. We'll, we'll go through that. Prior to that, there's a, another kind of chord progression. Um, So we're starting on that B to the A to a G. Again, this is all the same shape. Back to the A, back to the B, back to the A to the E.
then from there. Alright, now there's a lot of fun to play around with. It's taking me a lot longer than I thought it would to, to get that one all the way down. So that one takes quite a bit of practice, I think. Uh, but uh, so it's really just a lot of kind of trying to memorize um, the finger finger positions on that one. Uh, but this is all happens on the uh, the D and the G string together here. Other tips for kind of getting comfortable with that. Um, I almost kind of treat it like a game of Simon, where you just try to go through like the first four pieces, right? And then just add it another piece. So once you get the first couple ones down, add it the next. That's, that's how I, when I have anything like that to try to try to learn, that's how I like to, yeah. That's how I like try to piece that one together. Okay, so that is uh, the base the base structure, mostly uh, of drive. Like I said, it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, it's a decent amount to, to dig into and get comfortable with, but I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, please leave any feedback, comments below, and I'll see you guys again soon.